Hello my friend, happy to see you here and welcome back to MathMod. Really interesting problem today, we have 3 to the x plus 6 to the x in our numerator and 3 to the x in our denominator equal to 3. And of course I want to show you the two best methods how can we solve it. There are three methods, but I want to show you two of the best methods. First of all, I want to mention that if we have, for example, this expression, I will write it as a number. So I write it as, for example, 7 plus 4 over 3. So for example, like that I want to write it. We can write it as 7 over 3 plus 4 over 3, yeah? So this is the main moment, I, ho I hope you understand this moment. This is moment from school, so if we have a sum in our numerator over denominator, we can write it as a sum, so we can separate it, yeah? So we hope you understand this step. And right now, why I write this? Because we have same situation right here. We have the sum in our numerator and a common denominator will have, of course, the same. So this is the first method. Let's divide it by parts. So we will have 3 to the x over 3 to the x plus 6 to the x over 3 to the x equal to 3. So this is the moment that I mentioned right here. I hope you understand this step. What we're going to do next? 3 to the x, 3 to the x equal to 1. So 1 plus, right here we have 6 to the x over 3 to the x equal to 3. So as you can see, we have the variables that we need to find only right here. So we bring this constant on the left. So we have 6 to the x over 3 to the x equal to, equal to 2. Yeah, I hope you understand this step. What are we going to do next? We need to know a really good property. If we have a over b, all raised to the power x, we can write it as a to the power x over b to the power x. Oh, this works in the reverse way. So for example, this is our case that we have right now. We can write it as a, a, a division in our parentheses. So this is equal to 6 over 3 to the power x equal to 2, which is equal to 2 to the x, of course, equal to 2 and x equal to 1. This is the first method I want to show you, but as well I want to show you the second really good method. So for example, you don't know about this moment, you forgot it. And I want to show you the second method. We have a, a division, so we can easily use cross multiplying. So if we multiply by cross multiplication rule, we'll have 3 to the x plus 6 to the x equal to 3 times 3 to the x. Just use cross multiplying right here in the beginning. And right now, take a look, let's bring all of these elements on the left. If we bring all of these elements, we will have 3 to the x plus 6 to the x and minus 3 times 3 to the x equal to 0. And right now, if we look closely to this expression, so for example, everyone can say that this is real hard, but we, we have 3 to the x and we subtract 3 to the power x times 3. So it looks like x minus 3x. So this will be equal to right here, for example, x right here, 3x. And if you subtract it, we will have minus 2x, but x equal to 3 to the x, so we will have 6 to the x, 6 to the x minus 2 times 3 to the x equal to 0. Right now, really interesting moment. So as you can see, this second method is more complicated than this one, but right here we learn or remember a lot of really interesting rules. This 6 to the x can be written as 2 to the x times 3 to the x, yeah? And minus 2 times 3 to the x equal to 0. And right now, I hope you understand this step, we write it as 6 to the x. Right now we have 3 to the x and 3 to the x, we can factor it, so 3 to the x and in parentheses from here, 2 to the x minus 2 equal to 0. So we have a product equal to 0. So this 3 to the x equal to 0 which is absolutely impossible, because right here we, have, we don't have any x in real numbers, and the second 2 to the x minus 2 equal to 0, which is absolutely the same as right here, because 2 to the x equal to 2 and x equal to 1. So this is two methods. Third method is using logarithm. So it's, it's your homework, it's really interesting how you solve it with logarithm, so it's really good, yeah? I hope you, you enjoyed this video. If you do, leave a like, write any comment, I really appreciate it. And see you in the next videos. Have a great day and thank you for everything. See you in the next videos.